Okay, so I'm down here at uh, one of the Sanua beaches. This is, um, don't ask me what it's called, Matahari Turbid. This is also with a bus terminal where you see a lot of buses driving around town. It's a new service that goes around town. Um, they come down to here and then head off from here to different locations, down to the airport and places like that. But um, the reason I'm just here is uh, is that I've just been for a bit of a ride around town and I thought, well, um, it, it, it's Sunday and I'll uh, come down and see what it's like for family day and also just to see how many Westerners are here. Um, there's reports of a few Westerners arriving in Bali, so we'll see how many come down here to Sanua. So first up, I want to show you uh, what's happening with the port authorities before all the boats used to leave from, uh, from down on my left hand side here off the beach but now they're building a proper port facility here so we'll go down and have a quick look at that and then we'll shoot down and uh, have a look at the rest of this beach down into Sanua beach okay so uh, here we are as you can see there's a fair amount of development going on um, I don't know how it's all going to work but uh, I see the tides racing in at the moment it might be racing out I'm not sure but uh, yeah, this looks like another, I don't know, maybe this is for smaller boats. And uh, that looks like the main harbour over there. We built that seawall up a fair way. I see they're putting some concrete in there. So yeah, fair amount of work going on. It's been going on for a while now, but the progress is, uh, is coming along steadily. I'm not real sure what this is going to be. I don't know what's going to happen because down to my right now where the boats come in uh, up to the sand and loaded from the sand there's all these booking offices just been built now it's a fair way to walk from from those uh, um, let's see if we can pick it up on the camera fair way to walk from those booking offices all the way down here um, carrying uh, all your baggage and the fuel's got to come down here. I guess they're going to load the fuel some other way, but um, maybe a convenience. I, I don't know whether they're going to pull all those things down, those booking offices down, or return them back to uh, to little uh, warungs. But we'll see what happens in the future. All right, so we'll venture on and we'll go down and uh, have a look at Sanua Beach. See a nice little feature here that uh, Rotary Club of Bali have put in. Uh, these uh, seats and tables here done out of marble, marble tops there um, a lot of them under the shade of that big tree there or a couple of big trees there so uh, that's a nice added feature that uh, wasn't here before a few higher bikes here a little bit stressful for me and we'll head down here through these warrens There's not many people here at the moment. It's only half past two in the afternoon. Um, family day, you usually get a few, um, fair few locals down this way. But here are all the warungs. Yeah, they're going to be out of the way of the loading facilities as well. So um, we'll just have to see what happens. It'll be a shame because they they built these. Oh, probably a couple of years back, but now um, I'm not sure. Most of them are open now. Before I came down here a little while back, and they were all closed. Well, most of them were closed, obviously because no, uh, no customers. But there's a few businesses around Bali pick up with the the new influx of uh, Westerners arriving. Um, a little bit more money is going into the pockets of the shop owners and therefore their families and I guess they'll be able to get out and about again. <laughs> and they've got a long way to go to to, uh, to get back to where they were. Bit of a shame. But it'll be good to see them all roaming around again. And pretty quiet down here at the moment. Not a lot of foot traffic, a lot of people sitting on the rocks there. 
you know, be a good place to put some uh, put some tables and chairs up there. There's Rotary again, putting their uh, washing facilities there for everybody. Uh, feel free to use them when you're down this way. Hello. Locals having a feed. Okay, I'll stop this and we'll head on down to uh, the booking office. Okay, so here we are at these booking offices I was talking about. There's a toilet here we've got to pay to uh, to go in. 5,000 rupees, so that's about 50 cents Australian. A few people are whinged about that, but I can remember as a kid growing up in, uh, in Adelaide, there used to be in uh, well, little laneways running off Rundle Street that uh, you used to go downstairs to the toilet and they used to charge, I don't know, it was tuppence or something like that. It's going back a while, isn't it? So, uh, yeah, here's all these booking agents for the boats. And, uh, hello. <laughs> and, yeah, they're... Uh... Hey, bro. Good, mate. Yep. Australia. So uh, yeah, so that's uh, that's all the booking offices. Still got the little old lady sitting on the side of the pathway, flogging off certain things. Mainly lumpia. Lumpia, bit of peanut sauce. So this is where the boats leave from, in here, at the present moment. One over there not going at the moment. But yeah, they leave from here to go to Lembongan and uh, takes about, oh, I think about an hour and a quarter or something like that to get across there. That's it across there, if you can see it in the islands. It's a pretty calm sea today, but it can get a bit choppy out there at times. And uh, as we wander up here, this restaurant here has refurbished itself. Not real good tucker in there, but nevertheless, if you're hungry, you'll eat it. There's a the outdoor kitchen here. Hello! Abba Kaba! How are you, Mr. There's one or two motorbikes here. And this is not the beach crowd, this is, uh, I think this is everybody that works over on the islands. So, uh, or, or actually works here in this area. Sometimes pretty hard pressed to get a bike park here. But there's a few around at the moment. As I said, come three o'clock and onwards, she'll be filling up something fierce, I should imagine. Beautiful day, nice southerly breeze blowing. Well, I think that's the south. So I'll wander on shortly and go down this uh, go down this new path. Well, I might as well do it now. Oh, no. All these warungs that you see dead ahead, they used to be back on the original path or just alongside the original path. Um, just break here and show you this this street here, this we the city is starting to park in the middle of the the road, so starting to build up gradually. That'll be chock a block full later on. There's a typical warung selling everything. Yeah, so uh, these warungs that you see here were um, right up against this path. Not this particular one I'm on now. This is all new. This one. I don't know whether it's a bike path or what it was but this is the original one with these pavers here um, and where I'm standing now used to be uh, used to be where these warungs were a lot of these warungs and and a lot of these shops were on this side of the, the path but now they've split it up it's a lot more walking room hello 
Abakaba, hello, hello, how are you today? You good? Business good? A little bit good, coming good? Ah, very good, yeah, happy for you. Okay, good luck, eh? Yeah, just looking. Okay, bye bye. Jalan, Jalan. I'm on a diet, can't you see? <laughs> so it's typical warongs here. This is the back of the warong, you can't tell the difference in the back and the front. Hello, how are you? A long time not see you. No, not yet. Nanti, eh? So these uh, little beach toys go down onto the beach. There's some more of those bikes, they're the same bikes. I don't know whether the same company owns a lot or not. There's somebody with a bit of money lashing out. But yeah, these, uh, these warrants pretty fresh food you get from them. So it's well worth stopping and having a, having a drink and getting something to eat. Makan, eh? You have Makan already? Suda? Twice. Nice. Twice. Twice. Two, twice. two times. Yeah. I can tell. <laughs> You're the same size as me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, you are bigger than me. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you for the compliment. <laughs> you a vlogger? Yeah, my... You? Ooh. You no, a vlogger? I'm, no, I'm not. Oh. But I'm a YouTuber. YouTuber gaming. Are you? Oh, gaming. Oh, that's too hard you for me. To be a from him. That's too hard for me. <laughs> <laughs> Playing games. Whew. What's your name? My name is Rick. Rick. Namaste, a Rick. Oh, this is Ade. 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 Hello, Ade. Hello. You speak Bahasa English, huh? Yes. Very good. You're a very good man. What are you going to be when you grow up? I'm going to be an athlete. An athlete? Yes. Wow, what, what athlete you do? Kung Fu. Kung Fu? Oh, stay away from me. <laughs> hey, uh -huh. hey. So I'm with the future Indonesian Kung Fu champion. Eh? Yes. Good boy. It's not Indonesian, but Wushu, you know. Oh, the, the Kung Fu, yeah, that's it's not Indonesian, but he represents Indonesia yeah, yeah, yeah. in the Olympics. Yeah, Ooh, yeah. You'll be very famous. <laughs> hey. Yes, I do. Yeah. I remember you on the video. I, when you become famous, I'll find the video. This is, this is a famous man. So how old are you now? How old are you? Thirteen. Thirteen. Oh, well, you. How old before you trained for Olympics? Hmm, I don't know. You don't know. Eighteen. I think some already in Olympics at eighteen, aren't they? You practice fair bit now, though. Huh? Eh? Bludger. Bludger, or what's practice uh, in, in Indonesia? Latihan, that's right, Latihan. I see all those cars with Latihan written on them for t learning to drive. <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that is false advertising. <laughs> There's not too many people in Indonesia know how to drive. Sorry, but... <laughs> you have a channel on YouTube? Yes, I have. Just a moment and I'll turn this off now and we'll have a look. So here you go, this, uh, work this out, you've got uh, all these push bikes for rent and uh, one to two hours jam, 10,000 rupee, which is about a dollar, but I don't know whether that's for one hour or two hours or anything in between, because jam means hour, so it's one to two hours, so if you take it for two hours you still pay ten dollars, or 10,000 10, rupee, I don't know, they confuse you with a lot of pricing here. But you get over it. So this is all cleaned up down here. There's uh, not a lot of happening on the left-hand side down to the beach. Um, I don't know whether these toilets, I'm not going to go inside, whether they're kept clean or not. 
the uh, the one up at the main Sanua Beach area used to be filthy, you know, the latrines didn't work and broken, and, oh, terrible. So whether they've changed that for five dollars or five fifty cents, um, a shot, you can say a shot I suppose, um, I don't know, but they were filthy. I went there one time they were pretty clean except the joker had just hosed it all out but then he was sitting there and playing games on his phone and instead of getting a squeegee and squeegee in there and mopping it up, um, left with you know half an inch of water all over the floor so too bad if you want to change your clothes or something like that. That's the way it is, not to worry, you just wear clothes that can get wet and dry out quick. That's my theory anyway. All right, so that's a quick look around. Uh, I don't know if it's that quick, but uh, you know, a look around Sanua Beach, or one part of Sanua Beach. This is the main area um, where all the boats leave from. So most of the westerners come down here, go for a bit of a swim over there. I'm surprised to see there's only like two people, two people down there swimming, which is um, surprising. Usually at this time. There's quite a few, but they do like to keep out of the sun. Um, it's like me, you know, and you go for a swim. I wear a... Hello, mate. I wear a uh, T-shirt and, and shorts, not to get uh, sunburnt. Hello, how are you? You have muck on, eh? It's good muck on? Hey, good? They say good muck on eh? You're the boss, I know, I can tell. <laughs> Hello. Okay, so that just about winds it up for Sanua Beach. Um, Sanua Beach is where most of the locals come and, and of course, not all the locals. Murdasari is another beach. Okay, so this is uh, Murdasari Beach, the one I was talking about. And uh, as you can see, it's a family family day out and uh, very very popular with the locals here. You don't see too many westerners down on this beach um, unless they're married to an Indonesian so uh, that's the story down here. I see a lot of things down on Murdasari beach but uh, this fella's decided to bring his uh, pet snake with him. Have a look at that python. Hey? It's not a bad size uh, snake. Everybody seems pretty comfortable about him. I'm not overly impressed with him. Magic looking snake, I can tell you, as far as snakes go. So that's the end of the pier there. So uh, we'll head back as you can see. People selling, uh, what have they got here? What's that? Uh, lumpia. They all sell the same thing, so it's a competition. Um, what else can I say? Well, I think I've said too much. So, uh, if there's anything you want uh, videoed, just put a thing in the comments, um, and then uh, I'll see if I can follow up on it. Different areas and stuff like that, different restaurants if you want, want to have a look at to remind you of when you were here last time. Although well, they could have been pulled down two years, two years ago. But, uh, anyway. Subscribe, like and share. That's what they all say, so see if you can do that and, uh, and we'll catch you all later.